me tell you something. Say it. When you are victimized by somebody, I want to find that person who did that to you as much as you did, and that's what the mayor of Atlanta should be. Former Atlanta Mayor Kasim Reed formally announcing his run for mayor at his big birthday bash in Buckhead last night, surrounded by his family, including his mother and daughter, two brothers, friends and supporters. Mr. Reed told the crowd, I'm back. The worst kept secret in Atlanta, officially <laughs> a secret no more. Joining me live right now in his first television interview since announcing Kasim Reed, Welcome to the 11 Alive studio. Hello. And first I'm glad of all, to be with you. happy belated birthday. Thank you. And congratulations on launching your comeback bid. Why announce on your birthday? And with a big club quarantine, comes to the A party at Tyrese's house to boot. Well, first of all, I mean, club quarantine, I think that um, that just was the right fit and the right theme. So DJ D Nice is yeah. a longtime friend of mine. He's like a brother to me, and so he definitely wanted to be by my side on what was a really special day. Yeah. And um, as, you, uh, as you may know, I lost my dad last March, and so my birthday seemed like the, the right day um, to go down the road of taking this journey for myself and, and for the city of Atlanta, yeah. the city that I love. A lot of people see Tyrese, and he is one of your dear friends, and yes, he's the very he was the host of the years. party. That yes. explains Tyrese's presence. Yes. There has been um, a lot of support and criticism on social media following your announcement, and also when you file the paperwork as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so some of these supporters tout how you led the city out of the Great Recession, and how the crime rate rate was very low on your watch. But many critics say Atlanta deserves better, and they point to you leaving under a cloud of controversy with the FBI investigating corruption at City Hall. Yes. Why run again? You could have done well, anything here. Sure. I think that, first of all, um, it's really a call of the heart. Mm -hmm. I think that people who live in Atlanta know that we're in an extraordinarily perilous time for our city. Uh, as we speak, a large part of our community is attempting to leave it and de-annex from it. I've never seen that in my entire life. Talking about um, Buckhead. I'm talking about Buckhead's mm -hmm. effort to have a ballot referendum in November of 2022 to leave the city. Mm -hmm. That would have catastrophic consequences for the city of Atlanta, um, both financially and in terms of our global and national image and reputation. Um, we have the worst state relationship between the state and the city that I've seen since I've been alive and I served in the General Assembly for a very long time. And so my decision to run for mayor um, is driven by uh, the skill set that I have that I think addresses this moment and this time. And as it relates uh, to uh, concerns about my administration and related to corrupt, as it relates to corruption, I certainly hear and understand that, take full responsibility for what happened in my administration but I think you have to look at an individual based upon their whole career and their whole record. And if you look at my entire record as mayor, um, when I left office, crime was the lowest that it has been in 40 years. The police department was built to 2,000 officers, mm -hmm. the highest level it's ever been in the history of Atlanta. The credit rating of the city was AA plus by Standard & Poor's, Moody's & Fitch, the highest it's been in a generation job growth the highest it's been, construction the highest it's been. And so while I accept responsibility for issues that occurred uh, under my watch, I also ask that folks look at my overall record. There are a bunch of folks running for mayor, and so if folks aren't comfortable with my leadership style, mm -hmm. they have other folks uh, to pick from. But I'm gonna work very hard to earn every single vote. But I think right now, folks don't wanna really think about who the mayor is. They're being forced to because when they go to a gas station, they're fearful. There are people, especially women, who drive around on E mm -hmm. for fear of going to a gas station. Yeah. The crime uh, rate I don't believe, has been I don't believe it was that year. way when I was in office. Mm -hmm. um, I've never walked in a Lenox Mall when I was mayor and there'll be metal detectors and long gun rifles mm -hmm. and German Shepherd dogs in Phipps Plaza 
in Lenox. I haven't seen that in my lifetime. So, Mayor, the and city, so, the, the so, city, the city um, is a, it's a different city from when you left yes. in early 2018, and and people want specifics on how you're going to make a change coming in after this long pandemic. Mm -hmm. What specific plans do you have? How are you able to get more people to join the police force out of thin air? Well, it's not out of thin air at all, Sheba. How I plan to do it is I've done it before, mm -hmm. and I know how you build a police department. I did it um, when I was elected in 2010. Um, we were having a crime surge, and our police department had a small number of officers. I hired 900 officers. Um, if you were going to get brain surgery tomorrow, I think you want a doctor who's performed brain surgery before. Yeah. Um, our city is in a perilous condition. If Buckhead continues the annexation movement and makes a judgment as a community that they would leave, that debate is going to be had in the middle of a gubernatorial election between Stacey Abrams, the Democratic nominee, and Governor Kemp. Mm -hmm. And if that part of Atlanta goes away, about 35 to 40 percent of the city's operating budget goes away. Mm -hmm. So your capacity to hire police and firefighters shrinks. And I think right now you need a steady, tested, capable hand. And as it relates to corruption in my administration, I'm going to do a number of very specific things. Every member of my senior team in direct reports will report their income tax re records publicly and make them available to the press okay. and to the public, every single person. We will have quarterly ethics briefings in my administration to make sure that we always keep our eye on the ethics ball. We will have lobbyist reporting. Mm -hmm. Right now, if you're lobbying the mayor in the city of Atlanta or the Atlanta City Council, you have no, no obligation to register as a lobbyist and wear a lobbyist badge in the building. That way, anybody can walk into any meeting and see who's in the meeting and who is representing whom. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hire an ethics council within the office of the mayor, really to have checks and balances on our processes. Okay, and I'm also going to uh, empower a panel to make further recommendations to me on that. Okay, those are those are specifics that people Very specific. people have been waiting to hear. We are running out I've of time. I've only been running for a day. Uh, but before we go, <laughs> and, and I don't think it's been a full day yet. No, but not a full day. Do you think that the feds are still looking at you? Do I think that? Well, there's an ongoing investigation, so they're looking at anybody who was a mm -hmm. part of the administration. But I want to tell you this. No black man who has been mayor of the city of Atlanta has not had a review by the Justice Department. No one. I'd also point out the fact that if you look at black male mayors in the United States of America, mm -hmm. almost all of them or their administrations are subject to some form of review. Mm -hmm. All of that said, uh, I think the support for my candidacy is clearly strong. Last night we had the largest mayoral fundraiser in the history of mayoral politics. We raised $550,000 in less than 24 hours. Okay. So um, I do think that there's some folks uh, who believe we can make a difference. All right, listen, less than five months left to go, Mayor, and we wish you the best of luck. We ran out of time. <laughs> well, it sounds like y'all had a good U.S. Open match. Though. Yes, we did. French Open. We'll be right back.